video definitely was a plan. The Cobra was supposed to be put up for the winter by now, but the weather this week is unbelievable, so I had to take the opportunity to take it out, maybe for one last time this year for an actual video that I'm filming on the same day, same day that I'm releasing it. So I wanted to take this opportunity to discuss a few things about the car and about the channel, so stay tuned. Now whether you're new to the channel or if you've been here for a while since I first picked up this car, you may have noticed over the past week there's been an infusion of different videos that are nothing related to the Cobra. I'm going to cover that in just a second, but before I get into that I wanted to thank everyone that has come along so far. Before I got the Cobra I had like low 200 count for subs on the channel. And I'm not going to get into all the stuff that I was covering on the channel before then you can look back on my playlist. But since then, I've gained almost 200 subs since the middle of August up until the date that I'm recording this. I'm actually recording this on November 5th, the day that I'm releasing it. I usually don't do that very often, but I wanted to get this video in line before all the other ones that I have planned, just so it kind of makes a little bit more sense for what's going on. So everyone that is new here, thanks for coming along. Those of you that have been here from when I first picked up the car, I appreciate every one of you equally. It's great to have everyone along. Interest in the channel, interest in this car, interest in the content that I make. It's all great for me and for the channel itself. So that pretty much covers a summer recap of where things were on the channel when I got the car to where it is now. Everything that's happened with the car has been documented on YouTube. I have a whole playlist on this car if you want to see everything that's been done to it since I've had it. Now moving on to now and what's happening with the channel and what's happening with the car over the winter. First I'm going to cover the channel stuff. Like I said earlier, there have been some different videos that have come out over the past weekend. That is opportunity stuff for the channel so that I can grow it. I have other interests other than just this car. I collect high-end statues, I have a playlist for that. I'm big into gaming, I have a playlist for some stuff for that. And the uh, what it comes down to is that I want 500 subs by the end of the year. I'm sitting at 420 at the time of this recording, so it's very easily achievable. The issue is that if I were to stick with just Cobra content, with the videos that I can film even after the car is up, because there's some stuff that I can do even when the car is put away for the winter, and with the stuff that I have backlog that I have yet to release, I would have to stagger that stuff beyond the one week upload that I've been maintaining since, uh, since August when I got the car. I'd have to go like every other week in order to stretch that content out. And that would still not get me to springtime of 2021 when I got the car back out again. And if I were only to stick with the Cobra content and stagger it out like every other week, you don't stay within the YouTube algorithm as much. From what I've read, you want to upload pretty much as often as you can. Daily is the best, which obviously I can't do. I don't do this as a living. It's not my job. It never will be. I just do it for fun for you guys and for me, and that's basically why this channel exists. But if you fall out of the YouTube, al YouTube algorithm, it's hard to get back in there. Uh, you have to start uploading more, put more content out. So if I were to only do Cobra content every other week throughout the winter, I'm going to fall out of the algorithm and I probably wouldn't reach 500 subs by the beginning of 2021. As of January 1st of 2021, I want there to be a 500 or more for a sub count on this channel. That's my personal goal that I want to reach with it. And because I didn't cover um, just strictly Cobra stuff over the past week, there was statue stuff in there, there was PlayStation 5 stuff in there, I didn't see a drop in sub count. I actually gained a lot that was geared toward the PlayStation 5 stuff. And I appreciate those of you that are here just for the Cobra that saw something else that wasn't Cobra related and you didn't just jump off the channel and unsub because of it. Because this, that is the primary focus of this channel, but like I said, I have to put in 
other stuff in there and I just have other interests in general that I'm going to throw on the channel from time to time. And with that being said, the big thing coming up next week, um, this is being released before the PS5 obviously, but the PS5 comes out next week. There is going to be an influx of quite a bit of PlayStation 5 stuff on this channel. I want to do an unboxing with the PS5. I want to do gameplay stuff. I want to do like an overall scope of what the the UI is and all the options and features built into that. It's just I have a few ideas of what I want to do. And it's kind of good to diversify the channel just a little bit when you can. I watch other people too that even though they're an automotive channel, I've still seen other stuff thrown in on there. So it's not something that you have to stick with 100% of the time. I can get away with throwing other content in there and still make the channel work and accomplish what I want to do with it. Now getting into what's happening with the channel, or not with the channel, but what's happening with the car over the winter. I've mentioned in previous videos that there was work I'm doing on the car once winter comes and is put up for the year. I mentioned doing different powder coating on the expansion tanks and doing the brake upgrade on the car as far as getting those repowder coated and getting the calipers swapped over to the sides of which they should be on and just rebuilding the calipers. Now, like I said at the beginning, this is an abnormal week. It's going to be in the 60s for the next week or so, which is great weather for working on the car, but the PS5 is coming next week and I'm not going to be working on the car when the PS5 comes. And the other issue is that before filming this, when it was cold, it was cold. We had highs of 30s and sometimes and maybe 40s during the day. So it was definitely cold. And the problem that brings up is that if it was in the 50s, I'd have no problem going, on, going out in the garage and working on the car. That's perfectly fine. But when it starts dipping down for highs in the 30s, and my garage is shaded quite a bit. I don't get any sunlight in my garage. It's always colder in the garage than what the ambient temperature is outside. And I'm not sure of where everyone lives that watches these videos. I know some of you uh, live somewhat in the northeast. I've actually talked with some of you. Some of you that don't comment, uh, the person that I'm talking about, you know who you are. I went to great lengths of talking to you on the phone about your Cobra, what was going on with mine, and you know, it's just, it's amazing just the community that you build with doing this. I just went way off track on that, but I just wanted to throw that in there. But the point is that I'm making is that if it's 20, 30 degrees out of my garage, I'm not going to be out there wrenching on it. I'm just not. It's too friggin' cold, and I really want to do stuff with the car over the winter but when I really started looking at it I don't know if I'm gonna be able to but that doesn't mean like I've said in, in videos long before this too the content's still gonna happen with this car with videos that I've already filmed it's just I'm not sure if I'm gonna get to those upgrade videos or not until perhaps the springtime so that may wait until the weather actually turns and it starts getting warmer we'll have to wait and see we're kind of predicted to have a warmer winter this year with less snow. The way it's looking right now, I can definitely see that happening, but it's not a guarantee, so it's kind of like wait and see at this point. I'm hoping that with the other content that I do have on the channel, that it's also interesting for those of you that watch it for the Cobra stuff. The statue stuff is kind of out there a little bit. That's not uh, as big of a community as gaming. So hopefully you guys find the PS5 stuff interesting. And I'm not saying please still watch my video because you're sub to it, even though it's not about the Cobra stuff. Whether you watch it or not, it's completely up to you and it's perfectly fine if you don't. It's not, it's geared towards a different uh, angle for the channel. So I don't expect everyone to like it or to watch it. But if you do, it's appreciated, obviously. The more people that watch stuff, the better. And the weird thing is too, I did an unboxing of the PS5 headset, the Pulse 3D headset. That was my fastest performing video out of any video that I've ever done. That had the most comments, the most likes, not the most views though, but it did extremely well 
a short amount of time. But in the long term, that video is going to take a nosedive once everybody has those headsets and there's other comparison videos out there. My channel won't gain as much traction for that stuff. My best viewed video to date with the most views on it is my Raptor Grill install on my F-150. That's standing at 20,000 views right now and I hit that within one year of it being released. And the Pulse 3D headset video, that hit 6,000 views in like four days. But that's not going to have the longevity of Raptor Grill and Saw, which more and more people will, come, will keep coming back to. But it's videos like that that I need infused onto the channel to keep it going. I picked up like 23 subs on that one video in like a matter of four days. It was absolutely ridiculous. The long term sub, um, the long term subs for the channel are higher for the Cobra because it's got the most content. And I think more people tune into the channel for the Cobra than anything else. So I think that pretty much covers all of it for now. Like always, I appreciate everyone that tunes into these videos, that watches that, throws it a like. All the old subs, all the new subs, every one of you, I appreciate all of it. And there's definitely PS5 stuff coming up next week starting on the 12th. But the next Cobra video that I already have filmed and edited, I just have to post it when I'm ready to post it. I always kind of like to give a little bit of an insight on what's coming up a little bit later on for the people that stick around towards the end. On some of my videos, not all of them, but this is one of them. I do a video about why I'm not building this to be an 800 horsepower plus Cobra. I'm not getting in the details now, obviously, because it was going to run two videos together. I want to keep those two, this topic and that topic separate. But I go over all the reasons why, what the goals are with the car, things I've reconsidered since I first bought it, and why I'm not going to build an absolutely insane build with this car. But thank you, everyone. That's all for now. I'm going to enjoy this day with a Cobra in the great weather. And until next time.